Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Active Learning. In this one we're going to look at the polls procedure, which in my opinion, in my experience, is the most effective of the techniques, certainly the simplest one. The idea behind it is simple, after about 20 minutes or 25 minutes in the class, just take a break and give the students something to do. There is a theory of student attention span that after about 20 minutes their attention tends to wander anyway, so the idea here is get them to do something. There's lots of different things you can do. Here's a few suggestions. I think the most effective one as far as I'm concerned is get them to stop and then get them to write down the three key things that they think they've heard in the last 20 minutes or 25 minutes. The three key ideas that we've covered in this class so far. Um, give them a minute or two to do that and then that allows them to reflect on the topic, even to be aware that they're in a class as opposed to just letting it all flow over them. It gives them a chance to be a bit active in their learning. Now, if we did get them to discuss their three ideas with somebody else in pairs, that, that can be really, really beneficial because different people will have different things that they think are the top three ideas. So that can lead to very engaging discussions where one person says, well, I thought this was very important. The other person says, well, I thought this was, and, and they kind of work it out. And then it also might be worth sharing that with the whole class. So you've got your think, where they think about the top three ideas themselves, then they share in pairs, or they, they pair and then they share with the whole class. Something else you could do is just ask them if, if they're taking notes to review their notes and put a question mark beside anything they're not sure about. Give them a couple of minutes to read their notes, catch up on notes that they're taking, put question marks, and um, again, maybe get, getting them to look in pairs, and, and if, if there's something one person in the pair understands that the other student doesn't, that they could explain stuff to each other, that can be really, really effective. And again, it might be worth sharing with the whole class. Maybe you could ask them to create maybe three, two, four questions about the topic. So you, you've been talking about something for 20 minutes, so you say to them, all right, write down two or three questions that I could give in a lab or as an assessment or in an exam about this topic so far. And, and again, get, maybe get them to share with each other. You could pose them a question and say, all right, based on what we've covered so far, I want you to take two minutes to think about the following issue. You could give them a crossword with words related to the topic if you wanted. So there's a multitude of things you could do in relation to the pause procedure. I think it's very effective. And I'd have to say for me, the top three ideas that we've covered in the last 20 minutes is the way to go. That's the one I think is very effective. So thanks very much, we'll see you on the next episode.